Uh, Estonia is a very positively engaged uh, European uh, nation and its European country. And uh, it doesn't matter how many of us are in union. Uh, today, 28, uh, perhaps in a couple of years, 27. Uh, we, uh, our core interest is to uh, keep strong unity and cohesion among uh, European nations. Uh, in uh, Estonia, we understand uh, strongly that we need uh, very good allies and very good partners in this very turbulent world. Uh, and uh, we understand that there is not really good alternatives for uh, nations uh, who have joined the European Union, uh, EU27, if we say so, uh, rather than to stick together and work on uh, those issues which uh, are in common interest of all of us. both. Uh, yeah, as internal uh, challenges we have to commonly tackle uh, to keep up uh, union uh, and citizens uh, with uh, offering them uh, security and uh, uh, good opportunities to, uh, uh, to benefit uh, from uh, growth uh, of the economy and so, but also in, uh, issues like uh, the challenges uh, who uh, uh, are on our borders, uh, to east, to south, uh, and so on and so forth. But one of the highlights uh, of the Estonian presidency, and this is not only for this uh, six months or second half of this year, this is uh, how do we could use uh, in Europe, uh, in better way, modern technologies, uh, like uh, in e-governance questions, questions about uh, digital uh, society, digital economy, and this is what uh, we have carried uh, today uh, during this uh, this presidency, these topics, and uh, have a, uh, uh, engaged in all the kind of discussions about uh, creating ting digital single market for next year, uh, to the end of next year, but also uh, to uh, create possibility that we can benefit actually from these technologies. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting question. Uh, uh, we have seen this uh, topic uh, uh, popping up uh, every so often uh, and actually we, we could ask, do we have already a multi-speed Europe uh, perhaps because of uh, not all countries are members of uh, Eurozone, not all countries are uh, also belonging to one and another format of uh, discussion uh, in, uh, in Europe. But uh, as uh, uh, is Estonian position, we would like to see stronger unity among uh, European nations, uh, European countries. And uh, we cautiously uh, look at possibilities that there could be a, some sort of uh, uh, too many internal groups uh, or decision-making areas uh, within the European Union. Uh, Europe is rather small if we compare with uh, powers like China or a uh, number of others. And here uh, we uh, benefit perhaps more if we could agree up and together on these major issues what uh, are both uh, when we're talking about security, talking about uh, issues like Eurozone uh, or economy by and large, but also about uh, uh, defending our values and principles. Estonian policy priorities uh, are very much connected to these core uh, priorities and pr issues which are um, in more or less important for all. Uh, of us in, in Europe today. There are many discussions uh, about uh, how well we actually uh, defend uh, uh, our uh, uh, way internationally. I mean, how well uh, Europe is, uh, how, how competitive Europe is uh, in, at the time when uh, there is a uh, number of uh, new uh, centers of influence and, uh, and challenge, uh, challengers, let's say, in the world. And this is why Estonia has prioritized uh, one area which is uh, extremely important in, for not only for us but uh, hopefully for the future of Europe as well, how to make uh, Europe uh, more innovative. 
uh, more open for new ideas and also how to implement these new ideas. And this is why during our presidency uh, the digital economy and digital society is highlighted as a uh, way uh, to go where are uh, certain obstacles today we see there we should uh, uh, work together in order to, uh, as I said, uh, to uh, create digital single market uh, to also uh, perhaps reach one day uh, uh, to agree upon a fifth freedom within the European Union, which is uh, a free movement of uh, data. Uh, because this is future anyway, and we, we have uh, witnessed in Estonia how our society has benefited from that, that uh, these services are available uh, for our people when they interact with uh, uh, government, for instance. Then uh, very important is, uh, of course, uh, uh, to uh, have the European Union as one of the leaders in the field of uh, global fighting against global climate change uh, issues and uh, problems uh, leading this process uh, we all witnessing uh, almost daily nowadays uh, the results of this uh, huge change in, uh, in uh, globally and uh, last but not least of course a question about uh, the Europe as one of the promoters today of a free trade uh, Estonia is a small nation and we are very much dependent on uh, the export and uh, how well we trade with other nations and countries. And the European Union has done a great job, great deal in terms of uh, creating a, a new area of uh, free trades. And recently our parliament ratified uh, a CETA agreement, uh, the free trade agreement uh, between the EU and Canada. And we hope that we uh, will uh, see in the near future the similar to development with uh, Japan and perhaps uh, one day we could also be back on track uh, with the very same question uh, in relations between the EU and the United States. For Estonia, transatlantic relations are very essential and uh, we hope that uh, uh, the relations uh, uh, which were, uh, let's say, uh, uh, in turbulent phase during elections period, during last, let's say, 12 months, is now uh, uh, over and we can focus on, uh, on the issues which are in interest of, uh, on both sides, uh, from both uh, sides of the pond. And uh, one more question, of course, uh, it's uh, understandable. In Ireland, number one question is Brexit. And uh, we feel uh, the same pain in many ways. The uh, UK has been and is uh, our very good uh, friend and ally, uh, both in EU but also in NATO. Uh, there is a very specific link today between UK and Estonia because of uh, enhanced forward presence uh, and, uh, in NATO framework. Uh, UK's troops are in, uh, in, in Estonia and cooperation is going on really pretty well. We very much hope that uh, the Brexit negotiations will lead to uh, the solution which is in the interest of both sides. I see that the Estonian and Irish relations are excellent. Uh, of course, we share uh, many uh, issues uh, and uh, we're on a common uh, uh, same page, let's say, when we're talking about uh, the very same question about uh, uh, solution on Brexit, uh, then it's a question about transatlantic relations are vital uh, as uh, as vital that they are for Ireland, uh, they are also from Est for Estonia, perhaps in a bit different reason, but still. And uh, we both are small nations and uh, somehow peripheral. In, uh, in Europe, uh, this is something where we uh, should work uh, per perhaps sometimes twice as hard as uh, some other nations, but uh, in Estonia we are strong believers of, uh, of Europe and the future of Europe. And I, uh, I guess uh, here we uh, are uh, very much uh, vision the same way our future, but uh, where we perhaps could uh, uh, use uh, better uh, the framework of European Union uh, is uh, enhance uh, more uh, in trade uh, relations. Uh, the numbers today are not as big as we could be, 
and uh, this is uh, where our embassy here works uh, uh, hard to engage uh, more interest, let's say, uh, of Irish uh, business community as well to, to look at uh, our region, to Estonia and uh, vice versa.